Today I'm going to address the question, where is God? We've spoken many times in this series about the two views of God, the transcendental personal God, which is the more common view of God, in Christianity, the Lord's Prayer, Our Father who art in heaven, is our Father, God is a person, and God is in heaven. God transcends the physical world, the world of matter, and is somewhere else. Now, in this theology, we've also talked about an imminent, impersonal God, such as the uncreated light, the ultimate ground of the existence. Now, for that kind of God, God is imminent in the world. We've also spoken about how we can be mentally in the past, present, or future. If we're, in the, if we're thinking about something in the past, that's a thought. If we're thinking about something in the future, that's a thought. And those thoughts are private to us. So if someone else is in the room, they can't know what we're thinking unless we tell them. But the present, where tables and chairs and people exist, if God is imminent in the world, God is in the present. Not the past, because that's a thought in our mind, and not the future, because that's a thought in our mind. Now, theologically, you might say that God is beyond time, and God exists in the past, present, and future simultaneously. Fine, but we don't have access to God's presence in the past, or God's presence in the future. We have access to the present. And so, if we want to experience God, we have to be in the present. Our minds have to be in the present. We have to be aware of the present. We can't be in our thoughts. Now, a thought about the past or the future or a, a philosophical thought can trigger a, an awareness of God. Th that awareness for us of God is imminent, is in the present. We have to be in the present to experience God. I suspect that people who have a transcendental God uh, in Christianity, some Christians will talk about experience of Jesus or the Holy Spirit. And I believe they experience that in the present. And they might be experiencing what we call the uncreated light, the ultimate ground of existence, but they might be personifying it. They might be experiencing exactly what a person experiences who believes in an imminent, impersonal God, but they might be interpreting that experience in terms of what they know, in terms of Jesus or the Holy Spirit. And similarly, um, if, if there were intelligent beings on another planet, they might also experience the uncreated light in the present, but personify it and see it as an experience of one of their gods. So, if God transcends the universe, uh, I don't know how we could experience that God, that kind of God, unless that God manifests himself in this universe. And again, any, I think with any view of God, if that God manifests to us, it would have to be in the present. Because that is where reality is. For us, the past is a thought and the future is a thought. But the real is here, now, in the present. Thanks for listening.